Hello. Today we're going to be having a look at not one, but two aircraft. The British Aerospace Harrier GR Mark III and its closely related sister aircraft, the British Aerospace Sea Harrier FRS Mark I. As always, models are in 1 to 600 scale. That's 3mm World Gaming scale. The GR3s are the four aircraft on the left, and the Sea Harriers are the four aircraft on the right. The importer to the United Kingdom is Magister Militum, and the importer in the United States is Pico Armor. There is a link in the description below to both these companies. First of all, the GR3. Its code is UK639. There are eight aircraft in a pack and its span is 1.4 centimeters of a length of 2.3 centimeters. As it's the GR3 version, you can see it's got the uh, laser rangefinder and marked target seeker nose, uh, commonly referred to as the thimble nose. The stores underneath seem to consist of four representations of bombs or rockets and the two gun packs on the center line. The Sea Harrier is code UK642. Again, there are eight aircraft in a pack. It's the same length as GR3, of a span of 1.4 centimeters and a length of 2.3. It has the pointed nose uh, of the Blue Fox radar and the raised canopy. You'll also note on the uh, vertical stabilizer there is a small indication of the radar warning receiver, something which isn't fitted on the GR3 and should be. Understores seem to consist of the Aden packs on the center line, 190 Imperial gallon fuel tanks on the inner store pylon and sidewinders on the outer pylon. Uh, the GR3 was famously probably the only aircraft that was going to survive into the second day of any war with the Soviet Union, being able to disperse away to no near field locations. The Sea Harrier was developed in the late 1970s uh, after the Royal Navy disastrously got rid of its conventional fixed wing aircraft carriers. And it was decided that there should really be some form of defence for the fleet. Both these aircraft served in the Falklands War. Uh, the GR3s were sent down uh, as a anticipated attrition replacement because it was thought that the FRS1s were going to be decimated by the Argentines. Uh, the opposite happened. Um, there were 21 aerial victories for the Sea Harrier, although four aircraft were lost. Uh, one was shot down, two collided uh, on a CAP mission, and one rolled off the deck and was lost into the South Atlantic. The GR3 
then went on to fight as a conventional ground attack aircraft. I believe three were lost to um, ground fire. The models are excellent representations of the small aircraft. As I say, the GR3 should have the um, if you see the tail there on the sea harrier, there's a small rear warning receiver that should be on the GR3. And a personal preference, I prefer the inner store in the GR3 to be the fuel tank as well, because um, it usually operated with a fuel tank. Uh, during the Falklands War, uh, one of the uh, Gun packs, I believe it was the starboard one, uh, was gutted and it carried the Blue Eric uh, electronic equipment which was scavenged from uh, I think a Tornado Sky Shadow pod. So it strictly only had one gun. These are excellent little models, uh, whether you're doing the Falklands, War in Europe, or Balkans War, for the Sea Harrier, uh, they would be an excellent choice. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, if you like, you can hit the subscribe button and in the next episode we will be covering the Sab Draken. Thank you very much. Bye bye.